Hi, it's Julie and welcome back for another workout. This is going to be a short cardio jump rope workout. Now, I'm in a room with a low ceiling, so I'm going to use a ropeless jump rope. I got this on Amazon. It's great. It has handles, a little bit of a weighted ball at the end for a little more of a challenge, but if you're in a room that has a low ceiling like me, or you just struggle with tripping over the rope, ropeless jump ropes are a great option. If you don't have that and you don't have a jump rope, you can take two towels and you can swing the towel as your jump rope, or you could even use a resistance band and just swing them, or you could just use your arms and pretend you have a jump rope. There are tons of options. So what we're going to do is go through 10 different exercises, 45 seconds, We'll rest for 15 seconds and go to the next exercise. So it's hip style jump roping. We're gonna get in there, work hard, and be done. So you could do this at the end of a weight training workout if you just wanna get a little cardio in, or if you have a short amount of time and you just wanna get some movement in, this is a great option. So grab your jump rope or your towels, or do it without, and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna put these down for a second. We're just gonna warm up our arms. So do a few arm circles. Let's get our arms ready to go. Jump roping is a great workout, but because I'm in the short room and a actual rope would hit the ceiling, I love my ropeless jump rope. It makes it so that I can still jump rope. I never trip over the rope and I feel very successful. Let's go back. But it's a great cardio workout. And of course you can do it without jumping if you want to do it low impact. Arm circles, and let's just twist our body side to side. Get yourself ready to work. In a short period of time, you can have a great cardio workout. Okay, we're gonna do a squat and floor touch. So squat it down, touch the floor. Ooh, my hamstrings, I can feel them, they're sore. That's when you know you had a good workout. Couple more. Let's do one more. And then I just want you to kind of jog it out. So jog in place. This is a great place to come back to in between those jump roping moves. So if you want to just keep your heart rate high and you don't want to just stop moving, this is a great place to come back to. Just little jogs in place. We're just getting ourselves warmed up before we're ready to go. Your first one is just going to be standard jump rope. Two feet. If you don't want to jump, you're just going to do knee bends and you can even lift your heels. Okay, are you ready? That was a quick warm up. If you need a better warm up or a longer warm up, pause and do that. Are you ready? Okay, so your arms are to the side and this action is happening in your wrist. It's not your whole shoulders moving. Okay, so little bounces here or you're going to actually jump. 45 seconds, here we go. Keep a slight bend in your knees, and you're jumping on your toes. You're not flat-footed. So I can still feel this action the same way I would with the jump rope. I'm still pretending to turn the rope, and because I have these little weighted balls at the end of my little strap, I will feel it in my shoulders. And there are so many different kinds on Amazon you can check out. This is the second pair I bought. My other one actually has a counter on it, so it'll tell me how many jumps I've done. That one's great too. And I will link this below in the description if you want to check it out. It's not sponsored, I don't get a commission or anything, it's just if you want to check it out. And rest. Okay, you have 15 seconds. Take a deep breath. We're going to go into singles. So you're going to go back and forth, one foot at a time. If you're doing this without jumping, you're just going to lift your heel. You ready? Here we go. So kind of like a mini butt kick, but we're going from one foot to the other. Speaking of which, butt kicks is what we're doing next. And if you're not using anything and you're just moving your arms, that's great. That works wonderful too. You can actually make your own jumpless jump rope by just getting some ropes and tying off at the end and maybe putting tape around the part you'll hold, like a handle. 
and rest. Okay, butt kicks, just like it sounds. You're just gonna kick your butt. If you need to do this low impact, you're just gonna go back and forth. Are you ready? Here we go. So try to get your heels up. Really kick your booty. Are your arms feeling that? Mine are. Hang in there. Make sure you're breathing. You got 10 seconds. Five seconds. And rest. Woo. If you need a sip of water, take it. What you're gonna do next is just side to side. So kind of like there's something on the ground and you're just jumping back and forth over it. If you need to do this low impact, just step side to side. Ready? Here we go. So just back and forth like little bunny hops. I'm breathing hard, are you? Make sure there's a slight bend in your knees and stay up on the ball of your foot. Got 10 seconds. Woo. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh. I'm getting tired, how about you? <laughs> okay, we're going to high knees. So just like you're running, if you need to do long impact, you're marching. Are you ready? Here we go. So bring your knees up front. Now you can do this whole workout with a regular jump rope, of course. You could do this outside where there's more space or if you have tall ceilings. quick sip of water. Whew, working hard. Okay, next move is your heels are going to the front. Here's your low impact modification. Ready? Here we go. I know that 15 second rest goes by really fast, doesn't it? But we're trying to keep our heart rate up. We're working hard. And we're going to be done in a quick period of time. great thing about working like this, where you go hard, the short rest is you keep your metabolism up and burning after the workout's over. And you're going to keep your oxygen levels up, and you're going to burn more calories. And then you have five seconds. And rest. We're getting there. We actually have four left. This is just jacks. We're gonna do a jack. If you're doing low impact, side to side. So you could be swinging your rope side to side if you want. Ready, here we go. So just jack your feet. Now, this whole time, you're keeping your core engaged, right? You got your belly button sucked in toward your spine, bracing your abs, supporting your back. And working your core at the same time. And your shoulders should maybe be feeling like they're working too. And you should be breathing. Hang in there. Five seconds and you get to rest. And rest. 
Okay, we're getting close, you guys. Three left scissors. So you're gonna out together, up together. So it's like a jack, but front and back. So you're scissoring your legs. Are you ready? Here we go. You can also just go back and forth like this if you wanna do that. Or you can stop in between. Whichever feels better for you. I think I'm just gonna go back and forth. If you need to modify, just touch. So there's always a way to make it work for you. Hang in there, you got 15 seconds. We just have two exercises left. We can do this. Don't stop working. Sometimes it's just mental. You just tell yourself, no, we're gonna do this, we're gonna push through. We feel so much better when you do. Rest. Okay, I gotta fix the ponytail. Okay. This next one, we're gonna combine the jack and the scissor. So you're gonna jack, scissor, jack, scissor. Just back and forth alternating. If you are modifying, out, back. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. My watch is telling me I'm working hard. <laughs> How sweet of it. <laughs> Here we go. And out. are doing such a good job. All right. This next move is kicks. You're just going to kick back and forth. If you want to take out the jump, just kick without jumping. That works great too. Are you ready? Here we go. So similar to the kicks we did in the beginning, but we're not putting our heel on the floor. Before we were more doing like a heel tap, this we're actually kicking. do you feel? Wow. Okay, set those aside for a second. We're just going to stretch the top of your shoulder for a second. We're going to do one bonus move for one minute. As many reps as you can. You don't need your jump rope. Switch. For one minute, we're going to see how many burpees. I know, burpees, how many burpees we can get in. You can do regular burpee. I'm going to do half burpee, so I'm not going to touch my chest to the floor, but you can also do it modified. If you want to modify, you're going to come down, step back, and up. Otherwise, we're going to do a half burpee or full burpee if you want to. Fix your ponytail, get ready. This is going to be our cardio finisher. Are you ready? Let's go. See how many reps you can get in in that minute. You don't have to jump either. If you want to just come up and stand, that's fine too. I'm at eight. There's 14 for me. You hang in there. You got five. 
five seconds. Rest. All right, I did 21. I feel like I could have gone a little faster, but I was tired. Okay, let's stretch it out. Nice overhead. Let it out. Let's let that heart rate come back down and up. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Push your hands on your thighs. You're going to round your back up and then release it. And up and release it. One more time and up and release it. We're just going to go side to side. We want to keep moving while our heart rate's coming down and just let it gradually come back down. So still moving, but not working hard. Let's hold it to the side for a second. And then I just want you to reach to the floor and stretch your other arm to the ceiling. Let's go to the other side. So hold it here, put that hand down to the floor, reach the other hand up to the ceiling and stretch. Come back down to the middle. So I want you to bend your legs and then straighten them. And let's bend your legs, straighten them one more time, bend your legs. We're gonna roll all the way to the top, nice and slow so we don't get dizzy. Take your left foot to the front, Heel down, toe up, and then sit back. Let's get the back of the hands in. How do you feel? That was a quick but challenging workout, right? You can do a short cardio and get great benefits from that. So if you're short on time, don't feel like, eh, I just won't work out, I don't have time. You can do something. Even if it's short like that, or if you've lifted weights for the day, you're like, oh, I just wanna get a little cardio, do a short cardio like jumping rope. Let's switch. Make sure you're sitting back so that that stretch is in the hamstring and down to your calf. We did a lot of jumping. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and working out. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do comment down below if you did this workout and how you just killed it, you rocked it, you stuck with it. I'd love to hear how people are doing. I like, absolutely love to hear people's progress or you know, that they went a little longer than they did the time before. Like, so please let me know all that. I love that. I love to celebrate those things with people. Both legs together and let's just roll to the top. You are done for the day. Thank you so much for jumping rope with me. I will link where I got my rope below if you're interested. But like I said, it's not an affiliate code or anything. I'll just share the one that I have that I like. But I hope to see you again in another workout. Bye.